Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on to another DOY Creation 7 video. Okay guys, in today's video we are going to do a tutorial on the crochet dish towel. I am using the Peaches and Cream 100% cotton yarn. Uh, this is all that I have left so I'm hoping I can make a nice size uh, towel with this. Um, you can use whatever crochet hook you have available. Um, for this tutorial, I will be using the letter I crochet hook, okay? I'm using letter I crochet hook, and just have your scissors to cut off when we finish, and your crochet needle to sew in your loose pieces. So let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. We're going to start by making a slip knot. And the way that I make my slip knot is wrap the yarn around two fingers and then just pull it through. And we're going to start off with a chain of 26. All right, so let me just pull some yarn off. And go ahead and chain 26. The way that I chain is grab the yarn and pull it through. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, 23, 24, 25. I'm sorry, make a chain of 25. Okay, once you make the chain of 25, hold on one second, guys. Let me just take this yarn off this here. This is a really quick, easy project, so let's uh, grab enough. So I chain a number of 25. Once you get your 25, I want you to chain a additional three. One, two, three. In the fourth chain from the hoop, from here, I want you to do a double crochet. So that's one, two, three, and this is number four. Put a double crochet into the fourth chain from the hoop. Okay, just like that. This one is going to count as our first double crochet. Now what we're going to do is do one double crochet into each stitch along the chain. So this whole towel is made using double crochets. You can definitely use um, half double crochet. If you want a tighter stitch, you want, your, uh, you want your towel to have a tighter stitch, you can definitely do single crochets. That's how easy you can do treble crochets, you know, whatever stitch that you like. But for this tutorial here, we are going to be doing double crochets all the way through this whole pattern. So go ahead and do your double crochets into each stitch and I'll see you once I get to my last stitch. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. So I am coming up to my last stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and put a double crochet into that last stitch, just like that. Okay, so round two, let me just pull some more yarn off. For round two, guys, and this is going to repeat every row, you're going to chain three, one, two, three, okay? Turn your work around and put one double crochet into each stitch across directly on top of the previous double crochet okay and that is what we're going to do you're going to put one double crochet onto each stitch across each time that you get to the end you're going to chain three turn your work around and repeat the process i am going to do a total of 15 rows of this one. So here's row one right here. I'm now on row two. So I have 13 more rows to do. So I'm going to do a total of 15 rows. However, you can make your towel as 
you know, as big or long as you want to. When you get to 15 and you think that I would like to go a couple of more rows or, you know, that's perfectly fine. For this tutorial, please do 15 rows and I will see you guys once my 15 rows are completed. So easy. Make sure you're not forgetting that chain three space right there. Put a double crochet there, chain three, turn your work around and repeat the process. I'll be right back, guys, once I have my 15 rows. All right. Hey, guys, I am back. So I'm coming up to my last stitch. So I'm going to put a double crochet into that last stitch. So this is how your towel should be looking so far. That's a great towel if you left it just like that as a face towel. But we're going to put a little decoration onto this towel. So once you complete your 15 rows, go ahead and chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And until that first space right here, you see that space right here? I want you to put a slip stitch. So grab your yarn and do a slip stitch. And that creates our handle. But we don't want our handle to be that, that uh, flimsy. So we're going to do a double crochet all the way around. So we're going to chain three. One, two, three. My thing keeps sliding off. Chain three. Turn your work around. And in each of these chain, I want you to put one double crochet on top of the chain. So go ahead and put a double crochet on top of each of these chain. Just like this. And this just going to give it a little thickness. Okay, you see how I'm doing that? Just put one double crochet on top of each chain. And once you're done, I'll be right back for the next step. Okay, guys, I am back. So once you did a double crochet on top of each chain around, it should look like that. I want you to go into this first stitch right here and do a slip stitch to join. So I'm, I'm right on top of that chain right there. So that gives us the little edge to hang up our, um, our towel. So now what we're going to do is the Pico stitch. I want you to skip the next two stitches. One, two. In the third stitch, put a double crochet into that stitch. Okay. And the same stitch, do another double crochet chain one, double crochet, okay, now I want you to chain three, one, two, three, and on top of that double crochet right here, I want you to do a slip stitch to join, chain one, and then do a double crochet into that same stitch. We're working on the same stitch. Chain one. And one more double crochet. All into the same stitch. Okay. And there is our first picot stitch. So we're going to go ahead and go to the next uh, picot stitch. So you're going to skip two. One, two. Do a double crochet. I want you to continue to skip two. Double crochet. Put another double crochet into the same stitch. Chain one. Double crochet again into the same stitch. This time I want you to chain three. One, two, three. On top of that double crochet, do a slip stitch. Chain one. Oh, this this a uh, hook. Chain one, double crochet. 
chain one and then one more double crochet all into the same stitch okay and that is how we looking with our peacoat stitch so I'm going to do this one more time I'm going to do this one more time we're going to skip two stitches one two we're going to put a double crochet into the third stitch okay then we're going to put another double crochet into that same stitch we're going to chain one double crochet back into that same stitch chain three one two three on the top of that double crochet we're going to do a slip stitch a slip stitch sorry about that a slip stitch chain one double crochet back into that same stitch chain one and double crochet one more time now repeat that process all the way around and this is the edge that we're working on okay I'll see you once we get back to the beginning right here all right guys have fun hey guys I am back when you get to the size of the the towel um, still skip two spaces one two and then go inside not on top but go inside the hoop right here just like I am doing right here okay so I'm skipping two spaces one two and I'm starting the next pico stitch right inside of the space okay right inside of the space and that is how we're going to do the sides so go ahead and do that and I'll see you guys once I am done because this one here I don't want it to come apart and all the way around you just skipping two spaces one two and going into the third space okay I just wanted to come back on to tell you that guys I'll see you in a minute okay guys I am back so um, here is my last pico stitch I'm gonna skip a space right here and into this space so whatever space you have available go ahead and do a slip stitch to join so I'm gonna grab my scissors and cut the yarn because that is it and I'm going to fasten off so there we go and we could just sew in our loose piece so I'm gonna bring the camera up hey guys okay guys so that is the end of the tutorial I hope that was really simple and easy for you guys so here is our finished dish towel again you can make your dish towel as big as you like so let's just um we want to just sew in the loose pieces so I'll do that off camera, but that is the end. There's our hook where we can um, hang it on to something or um, whatever you want to do with it. You can do it with the hook or without it, but that is a nice size dish towel. Again, these dish towels are so great. These are also great as face towels or body towels. You can use these towels for whatever purpose you want to because they are really awesome they lather really really great so as I was saying that you know just skip two spaces around to give yourself a nice peacoat stitch okay I really love how this worked out I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you enjoyed this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up and also leave a comment like if you have not already subscribed please subscribe to the channel so you can get more tutorials like this all right guys so that is it that is simple i hope you guys enjoyed and until next video um always remember y'all some 684 in your king james version always keep your life and your health in check and i'll check you guys in the next video all right guys i hope you enjoy bye for now